So I'll be showing you how to add, how to change, and also how to remove the SIM pin on your Samsung Galaxy S23. Now I'm using the Ultra, but these instructions apply across the board for the entire Galaxy S23 lineup. So this works for both the physical SIM card and also an eSIM. So go into settings on your Galaxy S23 and on the main settings page, go to security and privacy, tap on that. And then under security and privacy, scroll down to other security settings, tap on that. And you should see set up SIM card lock, tap on that. Now you can see my current SIM card is selected. Now in this phone, I have one active physical SIM card and an active eSIM. So it's a dual SIM Galaxy S23. So first of all, make sure you select the SIM card you want to work with. In case you have only one SIM card on your phone, then you don't need to select because it's only going to be one. Since I have two, I need to select the one I want to work with. Now, this SIM card, for instance, does not have a SIM card pin or rather a SIM pin. So to enable the SIM pin, all I need to do is turn this on. And then I need to enter my SIM pin. And then tap OK. And as you can see, now my SIM pin is enabled. If I want to change the SIM pin, simply tap on change SIM pin. Now that it's enabled, you can now actually change. So tap on that. And then you'll need to enter your current SIM card pin. And then tap OK. And now you'll need to enter a new SIM pin. So the SIM pin you want to be using from now moving forward. So I'll just select a new SIM pin, tap OK. And then I'll need to re-enter that new SIM pin and then tap OK once again. And the SIM pin was changed successfully. Same goes for an eSIM. If you have an eSIM in your Galaxy S23, it's the same thing. So currently the SIM card pin or rather the eSIM pin is enabled. To disable, simply turn it off and then put in the pin. And then tap OK. And the SIM, SIM pin, eSIM pin is disabled. To turn it back on, again, turn it on, enter the SIM pin, and then tap OK, and the SIM pin is back enabled. Same goes for changing the eSIM pin. Just do the same process, enter your old one, and then enter the new SIM pin that you want to use twice. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below, and good luck.